I'll give you an example. In the Bible, there were two parties in Jesus' time. Those who supported the Romans who ruled Israel and those who wanted to violently overthrow the Romans and make Israel independent. That was another party. Two parties. Just like in many countries, there are two political parties. Matthew was a tax collector. All tax collectors were supporters of the Roman Empire. They collected taxes for Rome and the Jewish people hated them. These people who serve our rulers. And then there was an opposite group called Zealots. Who want, their main job is to fight to overthrow Rome and make Israel independent. You know what Jesus did? He selected a Matthew to be his disciple. And you read the list of the names. He selected a man called Simon the Zealot from the other party. And he, when he sent them out two by two, he sent Matthew and Simon together. Go out and serve me, Matthew and Simon. Forget your political differences. I want to ask you, if you're a fervent Democrat, can you go with the Republican? And if you're a fervent Republican, can you go with the Democrat and work together and rejoice together? Otherwise, you're not a Christian. You're just a politician. Politicians can't serve God. You're a politically minded Christian. You will not be able to serve in the spirit. You'll serve in the soul because the soul is the one who's got all these opinions of which party I should belong to and all that rubbish. Hold, hold on to your um, views if you like when it comes to the realm of the world and the soul. But when it comes to serving God, forget it. Live in the spirit. And in the spirit, there's no Republican or Democrat. There's only Jesus Christ and the devil. You're either this side or that side. There's no alternative.